Hi everyone, Adam here from Eco Explorers. I hope you're having a great week. So today we're going to be talking about trees. So trees play a very important part in our world. They provide a habitats for insects, birds and other animals. They also provide us with timber and paper. And they've got very special role in the environment as well. Keeping our air clean and giving us oxygen to breathe. And not to mention how beautiful some trees are. I'm not sure if anyone at home has ever given a tree a big cuddle. Has anyone given a tree a big cuddle? So um, very soon I'm going to take you all on a little walk on our beautiful property here in King Lake to see what we can find. See if we can find any animals that might be living in the trees. See what kind of trees we can find. Are they little ones or are they big, big ones? Can you reach your arm up like a tree? All right, who's ready to go on a bit of an adventure? All right, come on, let's go. I love being out in the bush after it rains. Everything seems to just come alive. The smells, you might be able to hear that wind at the moment. trees in the bush. Small ones, tall ones. Some have smooth bark. Like this silver wattle here. And some have rough bark. Like this stringy bark here. I think this one's a peppermint actually. You can see all these little fibres. It's very soft. Mm, very soft. Actually this one would be good for a tinder for making a fire with. And over here on our silver wattle, you can see some funny stuff coming out of the tree. What's this funny stuff up here? I wonder if anyone at home knows what this funny, funny stuff is. All right, did anyone guess? So this stuff here is called sap. Can anyone say that? Sap. So the tree, it's a little bit like tree's blood, some people call it. So the tree, when it gets injured, like if a branch was to fall off or um, an insect was eating away at it, it uses the sap to protect itself, almost a little bit like a band-aid to kind of close the wound or the area that's been hurt. How cool is that? All right. We'll see what's down here. Oh, here's another good one here. I love talking about some of the um, bush foods that the Aboriginal people used to use in the area. Now this one here is actually a little bit prickly, a little bit prickly to touch and they call this a prickly currant. So in summertime, it's got all these hundreds and hundreds of little red berries on it that the Wurundjeri people would eat. And this one just up here, we've got so many trees in the bush here, my house, we're very lucky. But this tree here, I've spoken about before, and it's one of my favorites. It's a blackwood tree. Now, if we were to rub some of these leaves together, some of these leaves here together, in our hands with a bit of water, we'd be able to make our very own antibacterial soap. How cool is that? So we found another great little tree here. This one here is called a pomodirus. There's many types of the pomodirus. See, it's got this wrinkly bark, <coughs> excuse me, and these big green leaves. They've got little pointed, pointed little teeth on them. So this tree was used by the local Wurundjeri people to make their clapping sticks with. A little bit like these ones that my boy made around the fireplace last week. And they make a beautiful, Flapping sound. All that rain's coming down now. I think I'm in a good spot under this beautiful tree. Well, that rain came down really hard just then. Well, you really had to kind of get some cover under this tree. Um, so we haven't had much luck today finding any animals. Um, a lot of the trees around my house, they're very tall, so it is hard to see the birds. Although we do have um, a family of wedge-tailed eagles flying above our house very, very often. Um, but we can see in here, 
because trees provide, I mentioned earlier, the trees provide homes, habitats for animals. I wonder what's living inside this tree. Maybe there's some little insects living under the bark. Or maybe there's some spiders living in the tree. Now, I'm not sure what kind of trees you've got at your house or maybe in your street. Maybe you could look outside your window and see what trees are in your backyard or on the street. You might have something like this at home. The trees give us fruits and seeds as well. I wonder what this one is. Does anyone know what this is called? It smells, it smells lovely. All right, everyone, have a fantastic week and we'll see you again soon.